Okay. My little trainers. I think football trainers. How are you? Welcome to the, uh, initially, the Lower Park Centre Broadcasting Corporation. I've gone a bit early today. I haven't, I'll be heading off for training shortly. Um, I'll be there probably an hour and a half ahead of training just to set up and that sort of thing. Um, but I felt I needed to come on the vlog. Recently I've pressed the point that we need to look after our teammates, we need to protect our teammates. I've had three players come to me today um, who, let me tell you, they are gutted. Um, they are mortified and they are gutted um, because they can't train tonight. Um, one has uh, a member of their family who is poorly and um, so as a precaution it's not coming training fantastic that's exactly what you should do even though it's probably a different illness uh, and two others who've highly unlikely but they've possibly been in contact with somebody who's quarantining um, who actually probably isn't quarantining for Covid direct for Covid reasons they're probably quarantining because they've been abroad or whatever on the way back and they phoned me and asked me as well and let me tell you they are gutted they are gutted and mortified, just incredibly disappointed, but they still called me. And what I would say to those people is you are proper teammates. I am incredibly proud that you did that despite your just immense disappointment. Um, and when I said a couple of weeks ago that if anybody could do this and do it properly, Parley would you guys epitomize that as i say i'm just incredibly proud that you've done it i'm gutted for you as well but what i've said to them and what i'll say to anybody is if you miss a session or two sessions or whatever it is um because you're either shielding or you're not sure or whatever then i will put on extra sessions just for you guys um just so that you don't miss out um, just because I'm so incredibly grateful and I think your teammates will be as well and I think that's the very least you deserve so I just thought I needed to really press that point that as incredibly disappointed as these guys and girls are they did exactly the right thing and we as a club are just immensely proud of you for doing that and thank you and uh, for the rest of you I'll see you at training in a bit um, and for you guys, as I say, we'll catch up afterwards. So we are ready for our second session. PPE forms ready for registration and COVID rules and guidelines, money pot. Um, Josh, Nikki, already, they've been there for half an hour. So we set up, these are the cones for where they put their kit and their drinks. They have an individual cone. Then we're gonna do another game with a massive circle of cones there, which you can probably just about see, but it's, um, that would just be some slow, then sprints. And right in the distance, we have some cones along a long line, which we're gonna do some dynamic warm ups, probably almost over to the trees. Uh, and then we're going to play a couple of matches so we've got one pitch set up here we'll set another one up shortly um, and just to say that as usual there is a rogue cone um, which every cage has to put down for uh, a dog poo now um, Josh put this one down because there was a poo there however what he doesn't realize it's not a dog poo at all it was me anyway we'll let him know that later so there we go that's our no-go zone. All equipment is sanitised. Bibs are washed at 60 degrees, blah, blah, blah. Let's get ready to rumble. As well, with the various games you run and, and the PPE that you bring and what have you, you do learn a little bit more each week. Um, we haven't had to add much to it this week, apart from um, uh, I've added some forms for our registration and uh, there's more information on about COVID on there. But, um, sorry? Oh yeah? No, that's fine. We've got a pitch invader, yes. So I was interrupted there by a pitch invader. 
um, where we are on a massive playing field. I don't know whether you can see in the back, but if you've ever been to Ferndown, I know the field's just gone forever. Um, if you walk officially, if you walk the whole length of uh, the field, you actually come out in Croydon in South London. So there we go. So, yep, we're ready. Oh, welcome back. <clears throat> so, that was a good session, actually, wasn't it? That was good fun. Uh, last week we were finding our feet. It was the first week back. But uh, this week felt like a proper session. So, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Hopefully more to come next week. Uh, thought I'd end it all anyway with uh, the usual. She aches the jewels. She... Uh... I was down the beach yesterday. Yeah, I live near the beach and that, so. Uh, there was a load of uh, meat floating past. I thought, blimey, that looks a bit choppy. Oh. Oh. What else? I've just decided to sell my vacuum cleaner. To be honest, it was uh, just collecting dust. <laughs> I will speak to you all later. Be safe. At least you can see me today. Look, I've got my lights wired in finally.